Hey everyone, welcome back to Kara Cup 11. We've already got the wrong map being played, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> map, of course, was supposed to be Colors Teeth for round number three, but it's going to be Torn Crater, um, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference here. The game's going to be between Maze and Nada Alien, both of them playing as Savon. And that's always pretty fun to see. We don't we don't see Savon versus Savon matchups particularly often, do we? Let's see. This is when things start to get uh, pretty important in the tournament, when you get to this stage. Uh, of the qualifier section. Very important to win these games in order to move on to the bracket. Now I'm trying to remember if I can, or trying to see if I can remember how many wins both these players have. Maybe. I think Maze has... Okay, he, he won uh, the second game, didn't he? But who's that against? Hold up. I can actually, you know, I can actually check these things, can't I? For Shrike, but he lost, didn't he? Oh, okay, so Maze is actually going over for 2 right now, so this is a very important game for him then. He definitely wants to win this one. I think he's honestly in danger of not making the lower bracket if he doesn't win this match, so this is a very important one for him. Now, Phantom Crash, meanwhile, he played... Is that Phantom Crash he's against? No, it's not an Alien. I'm very good at this. Not an Alien, meanwhile. Um, let's see, so he played against Mazrum in round 2, and I believe he lost that one. Round one, he played against uh, myself, and that one he also did lose. He was playing as Conniff at that time, wasn't he? Yeah, in the last game too, so he's mixing things up a little bit here, isn't he? Maze, meanwhile, gonna spot out that base runner there. Keeps his probe alive, but does take a little bit of damage onto it. And pretty early AV Fabrication comes out for Maze now. But yeah, this this game obviously then is very important for both of these players because in order to get into that lower bracket, which only is going to take four people, you basically are going to need to win this one. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, as far as as far as relevancy goes, this match has much of it. I guess I would say. Insane probe micro intensifies. Although, uh, not an Aliens Pro, I like to point out, hasn't actually seen anything, it's just kind of chilling out over here. Maybe it's checking to see for a base runner, but um, there are better ways to do that, I feel. Maze, maybe gonna take a bit more damage on that probe now? Not quite, no, he just barely circumvents the base runner right there. And AV's beginning to hit the field now for Maze. As well as the first armor upgrade coming out already, and I imagine he'll go for carrier production right after that. Uh, probe comes in here, gonna spot the tech. Um, no way he can miss that, there's already one out on the field. Also gonna spot the lack of support cruiser. And it should be very clear to not alien at this stage of the game what's going on. Uh, May's gonna see exactly what he wants to see, which is my opponent is expanding, doesn't have any defense back at home. Um, and he can just push in with these AVs. I would definitely be getting that carry production upgrade if I were him, but uh, we'll see if he chooses to do that. He's made one LAV here to shoot down the probe, and I actually really like that touch. Very cheap to do, um, potentially very, uh, very valuable as well. A couple of LAVs getting made now for not alien, so you sense that he does get the idea. He knows what's coming here. He has gotten a V tech. He's really going to want to start making those now. Uh, the sooner you can get those out, and then onto the field too. You're going to want them out on the field, the better. This probe here trying its best to stay alive. Probe goes down for not alien. Looks like probe going to go down for maze too, unless it's micro here. Oh, look at, look at that. Juking around the, uh, the mountain there, I like that quite a lot. Okay, carrier production upgrade is finished now for Maze. Still no Rogue and Fabrication from either player. I don't know, I think Nada Alien either has got to be making AAVs here, he's got to be making Railguns, or he's going to be in for a world of hurt in just a second. Um, LAV probably going to find this probe here, if he goes over the other side the base runner's got him, so that probe going to go down. AV tickles uh, an LAV over here, but he does manage to get away. And I like the vision net here from Nada Alien, but uh, vision's not what he needs right now, I'll put it that way. Railgun Fabrication's on the way though now. It's gonna take about 40 seconds to get there though. He can possibly, uh, he can possibly kind of bait Maze into, you know, wasting some time on the base runner, but no, it doesn't look like Maze is interested in that at all. He's just going straight for the eco, and that's definitely what he ought to be doing. Support Cruiser's on the way for him as well, so as long as he can do enough damage to offset the delayed Support Cruiser, he's good. Experience says he's going to do more than that. Railgun Fabrication still 20 seconds away. AV is out now for uh, Nada Alien. Oh, he's going just straight for the support cruiser. 
That's gutsy, but um, honestly he might just take it. Uh, there's two AAVs out on the field now, that's two potentials for smoke. ALM's getting smoked off here. I like the touch actually. Um, gets your AAVs into position just a little bit faster, doesn't it? AV's desperately coming in here to get the smoke down on Spore Cruiser, but I think it's gonna go down here. Smoke not even popped. And so May's definitely taking uh, an astounding lead right here. And Armor 3 is on the way. Oh my gosh. So these things are gonna be pretty tough to get rid of. Most of that damage being done by the Savant Carrier. Anytime you have to say that, that's a bad time. That's a bad time. And like I said, this is a fight that Nada Alien wants to be taking out in the middle of the map, not here. Uh, this is definitely the wrong place to have to be taking it. Um, but that's just what happens, you know, if you if you don't counter your opponent's build quickly enough. Railgun Fabrication is finished, and he should just cancel his AAV. He's not going to do anything for him. He needs Railguns at this point. And he also needs to be smoking. He can save a lot of Salvagers. He can save uh, ALMs, whatever, using that smoke. Um, buy time for those Railguns to come out. But he's not even making any just yet. And that's a little worrisome. Salvagers. Salvagers, you don't need salvagers, you need rail guns! Anyway. <laughs> Sorry to get a little intense there. Uh, Maze probably wants to make a couple of AVs back at home just to be safe. No, LAVs, that'll do. That'll do. And he's getting railgun fabrication himself, ready to transition into a very comfortable mid game. It's looking like he's got this one pretty much sussed. Uh, an artifact was extracted now for not aliens, so he's able to upgrade the, the weapons. Gonna get rid of these AAVs slightly faster, but you know, Savon carrier and all doesn't do too much. To be fair, the coalition carrier is not very good in this scenario either, though. Look at the veterancy. This guy's a freaking commander. Oh my gosh. Not for much longer, I don't think, but he is one, so. What does that give him? 10% damage, 15% reload time taken off, yeah? That, I would say, is pretty significant when you're going after Salvagers, but it looks like he's just preoccupied with some LEDs right now. I'd smoke this guy and just have him drive off just to, just to save the commander, but, um... Strategically speaking, he's definitely done his job. No, 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 please! Don't do it! Oh. Off he goes. So, the dust settles and we've got Maze on two bases about to start getting onto that third as he makes some more salvagers here getting battlecruiser fabrication moving out with a couple of his opponent on one base and he's got quite a number of AAVs but that's really it um scrolling does sit at 1-0 but I don't think that's going to be the most relevant thing is it railgun's beginning to be produced by maze now that's exactly what he needs to hold off the counter attack which you kind of expect to be coming from those AAVs armor 3 already finished by the way so I don't know how much uh, armor Savon railguns have. I think it's four, right? But then when it gets upgraded all the way, it's ten. Yeah, okay. That's what I was. That's what I was worried about. All of these AAVs do one damage to, uh, per shot to that railgun. So, like one railgun here, he can probably take out half of this. Um, <laughs> so he's easily covered for the counterattack. Uh, definitely ahead economically speaking. And once Battlecruiser Fabrication finishes, I'm sure he'll just push out and finish the game. Honestly, he could probably do it right now, but. Um, Oh dear. And Mag Accelerator coming out as well. I believe this also affects the Battle Cruiser, although someone who plays Sylvan a bit more can maybe fact check me on that one. Uh, and I wouldn't make a Support Cruiser if I were him just because he is going to need a lot of CUs pretty soon, and um, Sylvan Carry doesn't really do much, so. Well, if you want to do a quick drop on the Battle or on the battle Cruisers though, like drive them up to your enemy and drop them off there, maybe that's still a good move. Yeah, maybe I would make a Support Cruiser here. There are a number of railguns out now, if we're not an alien. And those are gonna be, those are gonna be, uh, important, of course. Not gonna do anything to these LAVs, but he's definitely covered for Strikecraft. Um, and what that does is it stops him from just getting knocked out of the game immediately, in this case. Sport Cruiser Anti-Air comes out for me, he's playing this very safely, but who can blame him, really? When you get into this kind of a really, really good situation, it's, you know, you can you can play it pretty safe, and you can be fine that way. I'd love to see him make those battle cruises, though, because he's definitely got the tech already. Cancels the base room? No, the base room just finished. <laughs> I'm good at this. Nice fight getting taken here, by the way, just staying barely in range of those AABs, not letting the railguns uh, come and retort. Railgun gets to start taking shots at him now, so he's going to want to target it, and he's on top of it.
And I think the Railgun War has got to be favoring Maze at this point. If you just look at the numbers, it's not it's not looking good for uh, not an alien. And that's what you would expect when your opponent has on this many more bases. AV's gonna make a charge regardless, but with no backup from these railguns, that's really gonna fall flat. And Maze for now just spamming a couple more railguns. Um he doesn't even really need battle cruisers, does he? But like I said in the last game, like with Evers, I just I just want to see battle cruisers. You know, <laughs> they're really fun units. They don't really get too much love, especially Savon battle cruisers. Now I know that's different in three v three, but in one v one, those things are like usually pretty trash. So it's always nice to see them actually get some use. It's pretty rough too. All those AVs just go down, and that's basically what I was expecting. Um, if you're gonna push AVs and railguns like that with no backup, you know that's that's what you're gonna get. Still no battle cruisers though, which has me pretty sad. I love the sound of Savon Railguns, by the way. Can I just say that? So cool. It sounds a lot better than all the other Railguns. In my opinion. Distraction comes down for Maze now. Bring the scoreline to 1 1. We actually do have an artifact being held, by the way, by not an alien, but um, that's not going to get extracted anytime soon. This Railgun ball is pretty, pretty large. I'm sure you would agree. And at this point, he can basically just take out the carry if he wants to. Still no battle cruisers. I'm kind of sad about that, but that's fine. Um, there's so many of them that they're just taking out Strikecraft. Which, honestly, Savon Rogans, they must be better at it. I, it's, it's not just a conspiracy, I'm telling you. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Finally taking damage onto that carrier. Probably ought to use Mark Target on a couple of these. Yep, there you go. I love how right after he does that they all stop firing. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Those really guns, they just love to attack the wrong units, don't they? Never understood why they do this. Not alien could power up the armor here, but it's gonna be unlikely to make much of a difference. And down he goes. Good win for Maze, and like I said earlier, this is an important win for him. He basically has got to win his next match in the tournament too if he wants a chance to get into that lower bracket, so... Um, he'll be happy with this one. Uh, pretty easy win for him. We'll see what he does moving on to the next round. Um, not an alien, unfortunately, not going to advance the lower bracket, I assume, but um, he is a new uh, newcomer to the tournament scene, so he, he probably shouldn't be you know too upset with that result. Uh, let's go ahead and cast one more, and I think I will have to leave.